PC microcomputer system is a world leader and it's still growing. Hello, welcome again to the Retro Shed. Now, we've not done a video in here for a few weeks now, so I thought it was long overdue. We have been ridiculously busy actually these past few weeks. Now, back in 1981, last week actually, at the beginning of December, Acorn Computing released their amazing BBC microcomputer. Now, this machine wasn't the coolest machine to be had at the time for home users purely because it was marketed for the educational market and it was seen as a school stroke educational machine so not many kids particularly wanted one at the time. This computer was the result of the BBC launching a project called the Computer Literacy Project. Now this project was designed to put emerging computer technology in the hands of kids via the educational market. They also wanted to get computers into schools because it was an emerging technology that everybody was getting into. The project itself even had its own TV programme, which you'd expect because it was the BBC, and it was broadcast on BBC Two to accompany the launch of the project, and the programme was actually called the Computer Programme. The computer itself, as we all know, is the BBC Micro Computer, and it is absolutely awesome. It's again, it's another machine that I absolutely love. I didn't really fully appreciate it at the time because it was more of an educational school stroke computer but all that was to change in 1984 which I'll come back to in a moment. Now back in 1981, 1982 there was absolutely fierce competition between Acorn and Sinclair Research to win this lucrative BBC contract. Now incidentally if you're interested in this story at all there's an absolutely great documentary uh, you can find it on YouTube and it's called Micro Men. Definitely worth checking out. It's a brilliant documentary documentary. It's like a documentary stroke drama and it details the entire so story the uh, of the BBC Sinclair project and the rivalry that took place between uh, Sir Clive Sinclair and the people at Acorn. The BBC Micro was a very rugged and well-built machine indeed and it was targeted for schools in the classroom so I suppose it needed to be tough. It had a very very subtly built case and very tough high quality keyboard. It has dozens of expansion ports that connected to tons of hardware such as tape drives, disk drives, printers, monitors. It had an analog joystick port and it had tons of user and communication ports actually underneath the machine. Now the BBC was hardly a cheap computer at all. Now although it was aimed at the education educational market, Acorn pushed really hard to get the BBC in the hands of both schools and as well as home. And they did this with some very clever advertising marketed mainly at the parents. Everything changed in 1984 when a certain game was released by Acorn Soft and the market was really shaken to its foundations. The game was written by two students called David Braben and Ian Bell and the game was an epic space trader called Elite. It was released originally on the BBC Model B and the game was so vast and incredible it was an instant hit in itself. Suddenly the BBC was the computer that every kid wanted to own and that game today is still one of the greatest video games of all time. I dread to think how many hours of my life I've wasted, well wasted, no, no, not wasted. I've played the BBC version, the MSX version, uh, the Amiga version and I absolutely love Elite. Now we're not going to look at Elite today because everybody knows what it is, everybody's played it and it's, you know, there's more videos on Elite than probably anything else on the BBC Micro. But we are going to look at another Acorn Soft game that was a particular favourite of mine back in the day. The game we're going to look at today is Starship Command on the BBC and it's a wonderful, wonderful space combat game. Um, and probably the first game I ever played on the Acorn Electron round at my friend's house. Let's have a look at Starship Command on the BBC. Now I've tried to set the BBC up with the uh, capture card and I can't for some reason get a stable picture out of it. So um, as I like to use the original hardware, I'm not into emulation, I like to use the original piece of hardware because they're, they're worthy of being powered up, they're just beautiful. Um, I'm going to connect the beam up to a, uh, a Samsung screen and I'm going to attempt to capture the screen on a video camera. So apologies if it's not quite as good as as, um, as it should be. I'm not going to use an emulator. I'm going to see how I get on with just pointing a camera at the screen. So let's see how that looks. That's a great intro, actually, if you want to call it an intro. Um, I've seen many a thing... Many a demo on the Amiga actually copied from that. That must have given quite a few people inspiration to do Amiga demos. So let's have a look. 
Now, I've not played this for an awful long time, so I bet I'm awful at it. And as you can see, the screen actually rotates around your craft, which is really cool, actually, for the day. I don't recall any other game doing this. There might be one, but I can't remember what it is. Fans of Blake 7 will probably recognise that ship in the middle there. It looks remarkably similar to the Liberator from Blake 7. And the annoying thing about this game is... The enemy ships... The enemy ships just kamikaze into you. They just fly straight into you. I'm really bad at this. I used to be quite good at it, actually. They're really not very good pilots. They just fly into you. Uh, ooh. So on the right there, you can see a bit like Elite, actually. I've got four energy banks, and there, two of them are completely destroyed. Do you know, I don't think I've ever played this on a BBC. I've only ever played this on the Electron, and I don't remember it running anywhere near as fast as this. It's still very playable. I do love this, actually. It's really good. The annoying thing is, they're all an awful lot faster than I am. Oh dear, my shields are out. So I've just ejected. Oh. That wasn't very good, was it? Right, let's try again. Let's see if they'll, uh, they'll give me another ship this time. Look at them all closing in there on the radar at the top of the screen, on the top right. Can you see that? That's your main radar. The grids below is your close-range radar, I think. Why are they so much faster than me? It's not fair. Look at him go. That's just two. That's not fair. They just pile into you, don't they? I'm really not very good at this, am I? <sighs> that ship is... My ship is really sluggish. It really is a lot faster than the Electron version. Oh dear. He's legged it. This is really, really playable, actually. Good as I remember. You know, you play a retro game and it, you, you think, ooh, you think that, that wasn't as good as I remember. This actually is as good as I remember. This is really good. I could play this for quite a while, actually. Right, got me finger poised over the escape capsule button because I don't think I'm going to last if another one hits me. Okay, let's see if I get another ship. Ooh, that was nasty. Right, do I get another ship? Yes, I got another ship. Look at that. And it looks remarkably like... 
a version of the Enterprise. It looks like the Enterprise C, actually, if you're a bit of a Star Trek geek. I take it it's tougher this time round. Here they come. I love that. As soon as I appear, they turn around and leg it. <laughs> oh, nasty. It takes so long to turn round. I wish they wouldn't do that. Oh, nasty. Those enemy ships are so much more agile than the, than the player's ship. I'm not going to last much longer. Well, oh, there you go, I'm ejected. Do we get another ship? If I'm lucky, I might get another one, but I doubt it. Yes, look at that! Another ship. What's this one? Wow. I don't know what that's supposed to look like. Why can't I go as fast as them? What a mess. I know those ships that go invisible are an absolute pain. I don't know if they're command ships. Ooh, that was nasty. He disappeared. Okay, I've ejected again. I think that's it. I don't think I'm going to get another ship. Oh, they have. Oh, wow, that's, that is really surprising. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> There's another ship. I don't think I've got this far before, actually. I don't know if every ship you get is faster. Be really cool if it was actually. I don't think it is. Oh no, they're all turning invisible. They're sluggish, these ships are. I didn't do very well this time, did I? Oh dear. I didn't mean to press that. Oh, there you go. Retired. Story of my life. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. That was Starship Command on the BBC Model B Micro. Catch you soon. Bye.